Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and today we're continuing our series on the Dreadnoughts with Monkey Wrench. And don't forget the star of the show, me, the Navy SEAL, the wrestler, the actor, the governor, the goddamn sexual Tyrannosaurus. Hold up, hold up, you're not the host, Jess. I'm the host. You're my sidekick. I'm the sidekick? What the fu- I thought I was the sidekick. Fuck you, fanboy! Hold up, hold up. All you gotta remember is that I'm in charge around here. Raz Holly, hit the- Wait a minute, Gorilla. Did you tell everybody what we're reviewing today? Yeah, Jess, I did. We're reviewing Monkey Wrench. Why? Because I wanted to distract you, Gorilla. Raz Holly, hit the music! It's, it's almost like he's like a noodle. It's 1986, and Hasbro has a huge new selection of G.I. Joe 3 and 3 quarter inch figures for Series 5. We're looking specifically at the Dreadnoughts, and today's subject is Monkey Wrench. Monkey Wrench and the 1986 figures represent a kind of peak for the G.I. Joe vintage line. There are still some good figures to come, but the glory days are over. And in the case of the file cards, there were never any glory days. At least in the case of these Dreadnoughts file cards. Oh well, let's get this over with and take a look at the file card for Monkey Wrench. Okay, file name, Bill Winky. Who comes up with this shit? It's like you're trying to make me hate the Dreadnoughts. Don't you already hate the Dreadnoughts? No, I like the Dreadnoughts, or at least I did before I started reading these Goddamn file cards! Okay, so Monkey Wrench, or Bill Winky, or William Winky, or Wee Willy Winky. Like the fucking nursery rhyme. Brilliant. Right, brilliant. Anyways, he was born in Wales where he built explosive devices indiscriminately for a group of obscure terrorists. Huh? Obscure terrorists? What the fuck is that supposed to mean? It goes on to say that he made himself a pariah in his hometown by the age of 16. It doesn't say how. You see, the Dreadnoughts all have special different personalities. That's what makes them so great. Anyway, he moves to London to join the New Wave movement. Good lord. Anyway, it says it was here he developed his, quote, rudeness. Dirty biker mercenaries fucked up illiterate obscure terrorists oh whatever they're the dreadnoughts here's a bunch of assholes on motorcycles they're the world's most fucked up fighting team torch can't read and thrasher drives the thunder machine monkey wrench is kind of rude you might and zartan is a fucked up dude i'm zartan the card goes on to theorize that perhaps because he was born on Guy Fox Day, he has a predilection toward blowing shit up. Oh, and his record collection... What's a record? His record collection is limited to the 1812 Overture and the Anvil Chorus and Wipeout. Okay, all done. Let's take a look at the real reason anybody bought this thing. The action figure. All right, and here he is from 1986. This is Monkey Wrench, and he has the kick-ass light blue jeans on here. You can see he's got some patches, some sweet little red bandanas tied around the legs there. Very 1980s, super cool. He's got his biker gloves, his, uh, his badass belt buckle. Um, got some... Uh, some Saddlebags or a fanny pack or something. What is this? Is that a fucking fanny pack? Yeah, it looks like he's got a fanny pack on his side there. He's got a bandolier full of grenades. That's not dangerous at all. Um, also has a nice little uh, necklace there with a uh, kind of like a horseshoe shape and a red vest. 
and some cool mirrored sunglasses. Super awesome, just like uh, just like Buzzer. Um, really cool 1980s look. He has a pistol and a holster that you can't remove there. Um, but he's kind of a simple design. Uh, but he's he's you know I like him. I like him a lot. I I like this look of this figure. Um, it's really really cool. He's got the basic articulation for uh, G.I. Joe's from 1986. Um, got the swivel arm and everything. You know, they didn't really change that until the early 90s when they started doing uh, real goofy shit. So, I mean, like, articulation. I mean, if you know the articulation of one of these three and three quarter figures, you, you kind of know them all. So, <laughs> but yeah, yeah. And this one's in pretty good condition. He doesn't need a new O-ring or anything. He's pretty firm. He's not loosey-goosey. Um, I hate it when the when the knees really start to go. Um, my buddy Raz Holly knows how to fix that, but maybe he'll do a video on sort of restoring and making one of these super loose GI Joes uh, back to their firm newness. So maybe we can look forward to that in the future. Um, so yeah, he also comes with this right here this is a um, I have no idea what is this it looks like a trident on the end of a rifle it also has this doodad which looks like a, um, like a Lego or a lightsaber or something there at the bottom I'm not a gun guy so you know what if this is a real thing I have no idea it also has a trigger so we can only assume that maybe this uh, this fires this trident thing, so you've kind of got like a one-shot gimmick. Maybe there's a rope. Maybe that's what this is. There's a, uh, uh, you know, some uh, a line, maybe like a nylon line that <laughs> that is it's held onto it, so that you, and then you can reel it back in with uh, with the mechanism. Um, it's got a butt on it. Um, this one, when these get old, sometimes these old parts you can see um, the the plastic gets light in the in the areas where it might break. Yeah, where it might bend um, but this one's in fairly good condition somebody sold me a monkey wrench not too long ago that I had the wrong crotch yeah yeah he had the wrong crotch and he was all kind of stained up so I have no idea what was up with that but anyway that's monkey wrench and I like him he's pretty great this figure in particular was discontinued in 1988 and no more versions would be made in the vintage line. And I didn't buy any of the modern versions of Monkey Wrench because I'm a cheapskate. Yeah, and you're a cheap so it, and you, hey, you stole my line, Gorilla. Don't steal my lines. Yeah, then don't steal my line, Gorilla. That's a horrible impersonation, Gorilla. Yeah, yeah, anyway. Don't forget to check out the Dan Classic Show Facebook page. Give us a like over there. We've got exclusive videos. Also, give me a follow on Instagram, at the Dan Classic Show. What else? But anyway, we're out of time for this week, so Raz Holly, hit the music! Shut up, dude.